everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I'm here today to review the SPY. It's very interesting because the market did gap down today and this is a good lesson for everyone who's been following me. Whether you trade gaps or you're thinking about trading gaps, you cannot short every gap down just like you can't go long every gap up. What happened here today was a gap down in the market, but it wasn't a short. So yesterday the market closed at 212.37 and it opened here this morning at 211.51. So the bottom line is that the market had a gap down. And if you knew my 26 point rating system, you could have rated the market gap today in the ETF and determined if it was a short. It was not a short. And I didn't think we'd pull in hardly at all today. We could have pulled in a little bit more actually than we even did. Let's see where the low was, 211.19. Anyways, to make a long story short though, the market held extremely well today, very bullish in a gap down. It's just another sign, the confirmation of the, weak, of the overall strength in the market and the fact the market isn't showing the weakness that people were saying that it was for all of the year. And, and I agree that the market had a drop off at the beginning of the year in several bearish gaps, but I never saw the follow through in them. So one of the nice things about my 26 point rating system is that it teaches you what to trade in the live day and whether or not the, the gap in the daily chart will proceed and have follow through in the bigger time frame. So sometimes you get gap ups that follow through, sometimes you get gap downs that follow through. In the case of the SPY gap down today, it did not follow through lower. It wasn't a short. Now I wouldn't have necessarily bought this gap down today, uh, but it is holding and you actually could have bought it. So my prediction is that we're probably going to gap neutral and rally tomorrow, gap up even tomorrow and Friday. I mean, I don't know till we get up in the morning, but this is extremely strong for the market to be holding in this gap down today here. We really could have fallen and we didn't do it. It's, 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 we're getting bought. It's, it's not a huge amount of buying, but it's buying or we wouldn't be supported in this area here today because we really could have come in. So the, the, the lesson to be learned is that gaps are very specific. You can't short every down gap and you can't buy every up gap. And when you have a chart like the overall SPY market, which I've been calling that's going to make a new high and it's, it's just so close to doing it now, we, we might do it tomorrow because I, I, this is very strong for us to be holding here today like this. There's just no weakness here in this market at all right now. Let me just look here at something. Be interesting. I mean, we're not, we're nowhere near the close either. So. We're gonna we're gonna close strong. I we're gonna close we're gonna close strong today. Yesterday was two twelve fifty two. Wow, this this market looks so great. I can't wait till we get up over the high. It's something I've been predicting now for for so long, and it's really gonna happen, people. So the lesson to be learned today is that you can't short every down gap and you can't go long every up gap. The concept of gap fills doesn't work either. If it was that easy to trade a gap in just a fill of a move of a space, then no one would ever get gaps wrong and everyone would trade gaps that way. It doesn't work consistently to make money. There really is a formula that I have, which is the 26 point rating system that determines the direction of a gap. You have to go with and follow a formula when you see a gap. And whether it's a bullish gap or a bearish gap, you have to follow the formula. And I, and I created the formula. If it wouldn't have been for, for the point system that I have, I could never have predicted that the market would have made this new high, that it's, that it's gonna make. One of the other things that happened, some people were, were actually on my list back then, some people may not have been. One of the other amazing things that happened, this was last, last year. This is going back almost a year ago, it was August almost a calendar year, it was August of 2015. Remember this gap down that happened here? This is way before the stuff that happened in here into the beginning of this year. This is we're going back last summer, okay? This day I call the anomaly day in the market. And it's, it's interesting because after this day, I saw that this would happen. Now just listen to what I'm saying here, people. This is very interesting. The day here that the market had this big gap down, all right, was in August. After that day, I predicted we make a new high. Now, I'm gonna say something very important for those of you that are paying attention. How was I able to do that? One, because I read the gap down. It was 
this gap down here on this day had been preceded by one, two, three prior gaps down. Okay, so this was a big fall for the market down. It first of all it was a big gap down, and then it was a big drop off that happened even in the in the week before. Okay, and those of you that were training with me, you remember this. We didn't train the day of the twenty fourth. We just stayed stationary. I said we're not doing anything today because it was just such a it was such a massive move down for the market here. In fact, I forget how many points. Let's just see, 187. Yeah, it was like a 10 point gap down. Anyways, I read that gap and I rated that gap. And when I rated that gap, it did not rate good enough to short, but it was right on the cusp. So I said, we're not trading at all this day. This is an anomaly day. This is something you rarely see. Then we watched it trade. I watched the market that day. We watched it trade out. And then there was something else that I saw that I never saw before in the SPY or any ETF like the market, QQQs or the SPY. The market opened and swooshed. It actually did a stock swoosh. It did a stock swoosh into the open on the day of that anomaly day on August 24th. And then the swoosh was negated. The swoosh was negated on that day. Now, just listen to what I'm saying. So the stock swoosh happened. This is the day of the 24th of the gap down. Then it began in the swoosh. So my ability to predict that the market would make the new high was a combination of number one, my 26 point gap rating method, and number two, the trading action that I saw the day of the 24th. So I predicted the market would make hit up over the high and make brand new all time highs a long time ago, almost a year ago. Now, I thought we'd do it in 2015. We didn't. We did not. We got close. This was in November. And we just were sideways then until the end of the year. And then in here is where I took the spy call in December. Then we opened the year and we dropped. And then we rallied and we've rallied ever since. And we're going to make the new high. But the amazing thing is that I predicted this way, way long ago as a combination of two things. One, the stock swoosh, and two, the 26 point rating system gaps in the market that I read in the bearish and bullish gaps. So if you wanna learn from me and take my class, you'll learn what the stock swoosh is, you'll learn the power of the swoosh, and you'll also learn how to rate gaps and read the directional bias of gaps to predict direction in something like the overall SPY or QQQ's ETF or even any stock that trades. So it was a combination of things that I really saw all the way back in August of 2015 that made me make the prediction that we that we not only make a brand new all-time high in the market, but that it would be an aggressive move higher. It would be an aggressive move higher, of which has not happened yet. We haven't hit over the high yet. I want to be clear about that. And we and so of course the move over the high hasn't been aggressive yet. But I'm telling you, it is going to happen. Number one, we will hit up over the high, and number two, the move over the high will be aggressive. It'll be even more aggressive now than what I saw here, because there's people short the market from the drop off since January into February. So the original prediction I made that we would aggressively go over the high will play out much later than I anticipated because it's now 2016, but even more so as far as the move over the high because of the fact that now there are even more people short the market. I hope what I'm saying makes sense to people. And for those of you that have already done the class, you know exactly what I'm saying. But the negation of that bearish stock swoosh on August 24th and the combination of the ratings of the bullish and bearish gaps allowed me to predict that the market would move over the high. And once it does it, I'll talk even more about it and we'll see how it acts. But, you know, there's a lot of lessons here to look at this chart and there's just so much to learn and, and having made this call, it, it, it does a lot for my own personal conviction because the stock swoosh is something that is a play that I invented in the market. I've never seen it in the SPY in the way that I saw it last year that a stock swoosh came in and then was negated. It was such a powerful thing to happen that I may never see it again in the SPY. And, and, it, and, and, and I'm glad that I watched it trade live because otherwise I may have never seen it. And I'm glad, you know, that as the years go on, and I continue to trade, that everything that I created a long time ago now continues to allow me to be able to make predictions like this. It 
my ability to be able to see things into the future actually has improved because over the years my level of reading gaps and my gap analysis has improved and it just continues to improve. So I think it's very important when people come and learn from me, they understand that this is a worthwhile venture because as I'm seeing all the things that I originally created play out in many different trading actions, whether they're stocks or whether they're bullish gaps or bearish gaps or whether they're they're the overall market like this, it, it strengthens everyone's conviction that's taken the class of how powerful this information is. And this is one of the reasons, like I said, that I knew we hit up over the high. And, and we held this area too, and we're, we're gonna get over the high. So if you'd like to take the Golden Gap class and you're interested in more information, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com and I teach the stock swoosh in the Golden Gap class. Have a great day, everyone.